Man, this is amazing. I just unlocked mass storage blocks. This should take care of all my storage problems. So let's see here. Uh, I think I have to place these out. Um, okay. I suppose. Sure, why not? Then uh, input port here. Facing, let's go with that way, I think. And an output port there. And let's take a hopper here and... Nothing. Uh, is this facing the wrong way? No, still nothing. Okay, let's take a look at the help. Hum, hum, hum. Oh, it's a conveyor belt. Okay. Uh, okay, conveyor belt then. I can I can live with that. And a storage hopper and wait. That's what mass storage does. That is pathetic. See if this stupid thing will unload itself. Nope, doesn't look like it. Maybe into a storage hopper? Nope, still no. Hello, this is J.A. McDonald, and as you see, I'm not terribly impressed with mass storage. Now, fortunately, there is an alternative to mass storage called storage hoppers. These things hold 100 items and can be fully automated easily. The problem is they don't transfer inventory across like that. So I've come up with a solution for how you can pack 1,000 items of storage into a 3 by 3 by 3 space. The way you do this is you take some conveyor belts and you put three of them like that, all facing this direction. Then come over here and put your storage hoppers on their front face like that. and then run around back here put another three all facing that way there one turntable in the middle a storage hopper on that and then another turntable now if I feed some stone into this oops these are rotated wrong they all have to be rotated this way you can see that it's feeding into all of these hoppers here and I can just come by and collect the resources and they'll turn green when they're empty and if they're full they turn red so it's very easy to see what you need to clear out of things and clear it out then if you want to fully automate this and make it so that they empty themselves all you have to do is run a line of conveyor belts in front of them like this and a conveyor belt on the front of each one pointing down into that common conveyor belt and then they will all feed out into whatever sort of device you want them to feed out into and once you have this set up here this original 3x3 cubes you can add additional 900 blocks of storage to each module with only two blocks of space by running conveyor lines like that and then another set of storage hoppers like that now you've just added another 900 blocks for each module and these modules are completely tileable you can build them right next to each other if you do build them right next to each other you'll have the next storage hopper here and you have to link that to that so the easiest way to do this involves two extra blocks of space 
You just put a conveyor belt like that with a chest and then another conveyor line running over to that chest and that will do it. Or that, that takes up two blocks. If you want to take up one block you can put a storage hopper right there and angle the hoppers in or the conveyors in like that. But all in all this is an infinitely expandable system. Once you have this original tiled grid you can add as many 9x9's as you want as you can see over here I have a couple of these things linked together and they are almost all full of coal. And around back here you can see one way to link them together. Whoa! I just fell down my quarry. You can see one easy way to link them together. So now you, uh, you never need to worry about your mass storage ever again and you don't need to worry about trying to get mass storage to work because let's face it it doesn't you can just take these mass storage blocks that you made and you can go throw them in your ore grinder because they are completely useless <laughs>